Today we're examining sleep. How does light affect sleep? Do you ever wake up a minute or two before your alarm clock rings? If you do, your circadian rhythm, a cycle that tells our bodies when to sleep, rise, and eat, is synchronized. This internal body clock is affected by environmental cues, like sunlight and temperature. Exposing yourself to sunlight syncs your body clock more closely with daylight. That's why, if you've been out all day skiing, for example, you're more likely to get tired as soon as the sun goes down. If you're outside in the sunlight, you're getting 1,000 times more light than you would get indoors. Artificial light can also interfere with sleep. When you use a smartphone or tablet at maximum brightness before bedtime, it can suppress your normal nighttime release of melatonin, a key hormone in the circadian system. Melatonin tells the body that it's night, helping to make us sleepy. Mount Sinai sleep experts recommend a few small changes that can help minimize the problems associated with artificial light and sleep. Don't keep your phone near you when you sleep, and avoid all artificially lit screens like televisions, tablets, and smartphones right before bedtime. Turn down the brightness of your screen and opt for light text on a black background. If you must use your devices right before bedtime, consider purchasing blue light blocking sunglasses or blue filtering screen protectors. Reading a book before bedtime is always the best choice. That new email can probably wait for a response until the morning.